Welcome back, everyone. One of the great rewards about what we do here at Look Media is we've developed relationships with businesses and companies right in our own community. Not big box stores, homegrown businesses. People that in the morning will actually take work on a project and in the afternoon go visit clients. Well, a perfect example of that is AFSCO Fence up in Glens Falls. And joining me today is Kyle Stevens, who's a manager, or is he, he likes to refer to himself, Mr. Get Things Done. That's right? what I do. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> Welcome, Kyle. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Very nice to have you here. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the reason Kyle, uh, we invited Kyle in is that AFSCO Fence since 1982, family-run business, brothers and sisters, friends, relatives, you name it, involved in it, and a company that just went right through the ceiling. And the reason they went right through the ceiling is because they just really are dedicated to what they do. And I just wanted to talk a bit about it and introduce Kyle to you. And since if the snow ever leaves, Kyle, we will actually have fencing needs. When it does, <laughs> we're ready. We need it. So look, let's go back. When did the company, when was it formed? Uh, December of 82, my father-in-law and still active president, Neil Galvin, started AFSCO, and uh, he went from doing the estimates and the installs to where we're at now. So, No kidding. Yeah. Now, how many do you employ now? In the heat of the season, I'd say we're upwards of around 80 people. 80 people? Yeah. Wow. Now, 80 people, that, you must be doing a lot of aspects. You know, you say fencing. Oh, okay, let's put up a fence and protect the garden from rabbits, right? But no, we're talking, and we're going to get into this in a second. But so that would be installers as well as people who are involved on the business side of it, as well as the fabrication side, right? That's correct. Yeah, it's pretty much a turnkey operation. So we have someone who comes out, uh, free estimates, and any solution that, you know, you're looking to have for a fencing need, you know, we're mm -hmm. your guys. So there's the installers, we have office personnel, as you had said, and we have people who actually build the fence too. So, Now, um, when you talk about fabrication, you know, I'm thinking to myself, it's a big investment. You, your home is, or your business, you know, that's your mainstay. So protecting it or fencing it in. So sometimes people would think, okay, it's just to put something around the barrier to, for a property marking or something right. like that. But it can be very much more involved in that, right? It could be security. If it's a home, it could be a swimming pool. It could regard, uh, have something to do with pets, right? That's correct. So you really have a bunch of different types of applications, and uh, they say good fences make good neighbors. And, uh, you know, we're, <laughs> we're out there in that business as well. So uh, really when we get out there and we're – respectful of the fact that this is, like you said, these are big decisions and they're investments for people. And from the start to the end of the process, we respect that. And we know that, um, you know, you choosing a company like AFSCO means a lot. Um, I'm going to take a little side trip here just for a second because you, you're using the word respect. Um, I have a good friend in town, major developer, who said, I said, "How your success is amazing to me. And he said, half the reason is the relationships and the fact I show up. You know, uh, there are so many horror stories in the construction business about going to a place, they subcontract the work out to somebody, the job's supposed to pay, take two days, number one, they don't show up, or number two, it takes two weeks. I think the saying is, the old saying is what the best ability is, uh, availability. We have the mm -hmm. fence ability, but we also do... Uh, we're accountability, reliability, you name it. Since December of 82, like I said, you can call us at any time. We're mm -hmm. texting with customers nowadays. That's big. And the communication and the personal touch that we bring and the care that we have for each project, I think, shows through. Well, you know what? Uh, they will always say that that's the measure of success almost in any category, but especially in your category. And the developer I'm referring to, by the way, is also a client of AFSCO Fence. <laughs> now, look, uh, you underwrote a play-by-play -play our basketball season, and we yep. can never do that programming without the support of companies like AFSCO. Um, you're involved in a lot of other community outreach things. Give me some of the other ones, Kyle. We are in the process right now of communicating with Rebuild Saratoga. Uh, oh, very interested great organization. In, yeah, very interested in that, as well as uh, multiple little leagues. We're in our names are on the jerseys in Saratoga, Lunds Falls, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the fencing. Uh, we donated some fence materials uh, up in Granville this year, and in the basketball season, uh, we donated a lot to uh, uh, down in Schenectady for the uh, CYO program down there as well this year. So, uh, sports and uh, it's what we're about, as well as you know, giving back. Now, uh, you mentioned that, so it could be donations in kind, but uh, materials as well, do, do you find that you, you're asked to donate materials for certain things? It could be something as small as uh, uh, some extra chain link material that they put on the back of their ride on mower and they drag it through the infield, and, uh, oh, yeah, but it yeah. could be as major as uh, pieces for a new backstop or a dugout. Um, mm -hmm. So we're, we're 
aware that small operations or communities need that type of help and the know-how that ASCO can bring to a project like that. So we're always willing and, and love to help out. You know what, when I was doing some research on it, I noticed that they were involved in projects all over the what you would call the Capital District, uh, including the Tri-North County. So I was seeing some things in Schenectady, now seeing some things in Granville. Yeah. So you have quite a reach, right? That's correct, yeah. We've got the two locations down from Latham up uh, to our Glens Falls. Uh, we're right. going up to the Canadian border and then just north of uh, you know New York City and some out of town and out of state mm -hmm. projects on colleges and things of that nature. So yeah, we have a large reach. You know what, I've got one other question. Uh, it's kind of national news now, but uh, you know, you're hearing about steel tariffs and aluminum tariffs and whatever and made in America. Um, you know, on the, I know you do a lot of custom work right at your facility for some of those applications, but let's face it, you're not making steel and aluminum and stuff like that. Where would you go to find a supplier for something? They actually found us. So we have an amazing supplier for our aluminum and our vinyl products, Active Yards, Made in America, Employ, just built a new facility down in New Jersey, and it's all American made with a lifetime warranty, and they're a great, great company. Oh, you know, it just, uh, I guess, I, any question I uh, ask, you've got a, a decent answer yeah. for. <laughs> uh, we're moving it to spring. Should people like, start thinking about fences or what? For sure. If this winter ever ends, the, the schedule's filling up fast and we would love to partner with anybody in the Capital Region. Uh-huh. Well, Kyle, thank you so much. Thank and everybody yeah. at AFSCO for your support for our sports programming. You obviously it like sports. An honor. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and best of luck to you. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Appreciate it. You're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.